today at the Itoiserere Biological Reserve. This is not a well-trafficked destination for tourists. Uh, it's much more of a reserve than it is a park, so there aren't a lot of trails, but there is one trail and apparently it goes to a waterfall, so that's what we'll be doing today. <laughs> oh man, two days in a row of footwear fails. Uh, yesterday, I wore my Keens hiking by the ocean, and uh, there was so much mud that I was regretting not wearing my hiking boots. Today, I wore my hiking boots since I'm hiking at a place that's inland, and I figured there would be way more muddy trails. And I have to walk through a river to get to where I'm going, so the Keens would have been perfect. You know, I just can't win sometimes, but I'll take off my boots. This is probably going to hurt because there's a lot of rocks, but uh, I'll persevere for at least a little bit and see how this goes. I'm just going to call this a fail. Uh, I got my shoes off at the edge of the water and was about to step in when I noticed that about two-thirds of the rocks along the water had these big, flat, really hard to see spiders on them. I have no idea how venomous or not venomous those spiders are. They're probably fine, but uh, man, if I have to keep on walking along these rocks the entire way there, there's almost no way that I'm not going to step on one of those spiders. They're just too well camouflaged and I would hate to find out the wrong way that they're poisonous. So uh, hopefully I have time to make it back to this park with appropriate footwear. Uh, but for now, uh, I guess instead I'm gonna go to this lost sanctuary, turn this uh, total fail into hopefully something kind of awesome. I mean, sloths, right? Sloths? Sanctuary, and I'm realizing that I never recorded uh, an ending to the video. Uh, I guess partly because I was kind of bummed when I left there. Uh, and here's why. Uh, I thought the place would be like you go and you pay an admission and you can walk around on some trails and see nature and have a higher than normal chance of seeing some sloths. Instead, you go and you pay, and it's way more expensive than I thought it would be. It was like 30 bucks US, and they won't let you walk around because of the danger of getting bit by snakes. I mean, I get it, there are snakes, it's Costa Rica, but, you know, there are so many other parks nearby we can go hiking. Whatever. Instead, they take you on a canoe trip, and uh, they point out, like, you know, animals in the trees, etc., etc., but if you're me, you probably don't see them because you were always terrible at things like Where's Waldo, 
So if there are 30 trees and somebody tells you there's a monkey in one of the trees, uh, you probably won't see it, but that's okay. It was still really pretty and very relaxing to sit on the canoe and go around. Anyway, after that is when you finally get to see the sloths. And for that, they take you into uh, a building, and there are a bunch of what I'm sure they would call enclosures. To me, they looked way more like cages. Um, and the sloths don't seem to mind them, but, you know, maybe it's just me putting my values on things or whatever, but it was really depressing to me to see all these sloths in there. And then the ones that they're allowed to show you are the ones that are their permanent residents. Uh, and the permanent residents can't be reintroduced to the wild, mostly because they uh, are like paralyzed or blind or other things like that. And there are, you know, a handful of them as well that are perfectly healthy, but uh, came when they were so young that they never learned how to be a wild sloth, so they can't be reintroduced. But in any case, uh, the injured ones like uh, are almost all because of humanity encroaching on their habitat like the one that's blind it was blinded by falling onto a barbed wire fence etc anyway um you know when i saw that room i just didn't really have any desire to take any photos or video of the place uh so you know uh sorry i didn't capture that and i'm not in any way by the way saying that you shouldn't see the sloth sanctuary or take the tour because uh, I think that their funding comes almost entirely from people taking the tour and uh, the work that they're doing I think is really important to help uh, preserve the sloths. So if you're in Costa Rica, I would still recommend taking the tour. Uh, you know, just don't be a Dan and know what you're going to take a tour of instead of just assuming blindly that, you know, the place will be exactly what you think or want it to be. So, uh, you know, that's all. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, even though I pretty much failed at doing everything that I set out to do in it. If you did, you know, please feel free to hit the like button, subscribe, etc. Um, you know, I hope you'll come back again. Uh, I promise the next video is less of a bummer. Uh, you know, I go and see some stuff. I'm actually successful at doing some hiking, etc. It was a good weekend last weekend, and I'm really looking forward to editing that video. So, anyway, thanks again for watching, and have a great day. Oh yeah, there's... One last thing I want to show off, so I guess I'm not quite done yet. Sorry, I lied. But uh, just because it amuses me so much, uh, here's my filming setup that I'm using today. Um, all right, so behind me, uh, you can see I have two little Aperture uh, M9 lights. That one and that one uh, for my light sources. There's my A7R Mark III. Uh, I'm using the uh, Leica 50mm screw mount collapsible on it. It's a gorgeous lens, uh, F2 Summicron. And uh, then my little small HD monitor. So uh, that is my little portable recording studio. Uh, and, you know, it all fits in uh, a tiny little bag. So it's pretty cool where we've come in just a few years between LED lighting and really good recording modes on mirrorless cameras. Uh, yeah, that's all. Okay, now, bye for real. Thanks for watching.